what is the procedure to check the capacitors? Right now, I am going to explain the procedure to check the capacitors. To check a capacitor, you need a voltmeter, and you need to select the voltmeter uh, in the function capacitors. What is the symbol for a capacitor? This is the symbol for a capacitor. That's the symbol for capacitors. What is the unit for capacitors? The unit is uh, farads. Microfarads or nanofarads or picofarads. Normally, the capacitors are rated in microfarads. Okay, I want to check a capacitor. You need a pliers to disconnect both terminals with the pliers, not with the fingers. Uh, you need a piece of wire to produce a charge on the capacitor in order to discharge the capacitor. When you have the capacitor outside, you can check on the label. Uh, in this particular case, the capacitor is in between the capacity in a farad is uh, in between 189 and 227 microfarads. In between 189 and 227. Okay, after I discharge the capacitor with a piece of wire in between those terminals, I can check. I can check. I, I select my multimeter in a, in a capacitors. Uh, let me explain the procedure. The, the voltmeter is off. Right now, I go to this function. Uh, in this position, there are two functions. The first one is for diodes, and the yellow one is for capacitors. Okay, I need the second one. I go over there, and now I press the yellow button, and I have the capacitors. Okay, and they say nanofarads. Okay, we are going to check how many, how many farads I have here. And right now, they, they have 205 microfarads. If you remember, this is 205. The capacity is in between 189 and 227, and I have 205. This capacitor is in good condition. If the, cap if the, if the reading is superior or less, you need to replace the capacitor for other one with the same characteristics. This is the only way to check a capacitor. You need a voltmeter. Uh, selected on the functions diodes, you need to remove the capacitor, discharge the capacitor, and after that check the capacity in farads and verify if the capacity is according with the label. If the capacity is lower or superior than the range of the label, you need to replace the capacitor for other one exactly the same. Nevertheless, a little more probably, but nevertheless, I recommend replace the capacitor for other one with exactly the same characteristics. Once again, you check the capacitor, the capacitor is damaged, uh, you replace for the new one, and right now you can connect the capacitor again, and you put the cover, and right now your single phase motor is perfect.